Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss the limitations with the C and then C++, how these limitations has been overcome in the Java, why the Java programming language has been developed, who has developed in which year and why they have kept the name called Java for the Java programming language. All these concepts I will discuss in detail for you. So I simply request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss the limitations with the C programming language. C is a procedural oriented programming language. So, everything you will write in the form of functions and then you will call the functions to execute the certain task. Now, as it is a procedural language, it will look at the task and execute the task. Okay. Now, let me discuss the limitations with an example. Let's take that there are four persons P1, P2, P3, P4. They want to watch the movie M1, M2, M1 and M2 respectively. Now let's take that you have written a functions called M1 and M2 to watch those movies. Now if you execute this task using the C programming language, when person P1 want to watch the movie M1, then you will call the function called M1. Then here you will call M2, here you will call M1, here you will call the M2 functions to watch those movies okay now what will be the issue is that it look at the task and execute it nothing else it will look at so how it will be executed all these things it does not look so because of this one the program complexity will increase to reduce the program complexity they have introduced a concept called class now if the person p1 want to watch the movie and p3 also want to watch the movie they will make the movie M1 as a class. Okay. And P1 and P3 are the objects for the class M1. Similarly, M2, we can make it as a class. And person P2 and person P4 are the objects for the class M2. This reduce the program complexity. So, C with class has reduced the program complexity so that is what the first they have kept the name later they change it to c++ so c++ supports the objected oriented features such as object class inheritance polymorphism encapsulation all these things it supports but whereas c does not support the objected oriented features so with the help of the object and class the program complexity has been reduced then you can ask me Sir, what are the limitations are there with the C? If it has been resolved with the C++, why the Java has been developed? Now let me discuss the, the common issue with the C and then C++. C and C++ are the platform dependent programming languages. Platform dependent programming languages. Meaning is that if you compile a program on a particular platform, you can execute on that particular platform only. If you change the platform, then that ob object, object file will not be executed. So, once you compile a program, you will get an object file. That object file, if you want to get the output, you need to execute on the same platform. Is it clear? If you change the platform, it will not give the output. So, if you want to develop any software using the C and C++, you cannot run that software on another platform. Is it clear? If you compiled on a particular platform, you can execute on the same platform only. That is the limitations with the C and C++. If you write any C program or C++ program, okay. If you compile that program, if you compile that program, is it clear? You will get an OBZ file, object file, okay. Is it clear which is in the form of zeros and ones only then if you execute that one you will get an output is it clear because C and C++ use the compiler once you compile the program suppose let's take that you have written an add.c program if you compile using the compiler you will get the add.obz file that using that add.obz file if you execute Means if you execute that add.obz file, then only you will get the output. So the limitations with the C and C++ is if you have compiled this program 
on a particular platform you can execute the obz file on the same platform only suppose let's take that you have compiled this program on a platform x let's take that the platform is combinations of operating system and the hardware now if you got the obz file you can execute on platform x if you change the platform here instead of x to the y you will not get the output so this is the issue with the c and c plus plus but this limitation has been overcome in the java java is a platform independent programming language when james gosling and his team need to develop a a long ways actually they were working on a project in 1990 james gosling and its team working on a particular project as what is the project idea is they want to develop a programming long ways for the digital devices for digital devices such as set up boxes okay set up boxes and tvs okay they are designing a long ways for the digital devices such as set up boxes and tv they have understood the limitations with the c and c++ because they are platform dependent so their idea is to develop a programming language which is a platform independent okay then they have developed the java first they have kept the name called oak whatever the platform independent programming language they have developed they kept it as oak oak is a tree okay which is there at their office so they have kept it as oak okay is it clear now how this limitation has been overcome in java if you compile any java program suppose let's take that you have written in add.java program okay that java program if you compile instead of obz file you will get the dot class file or even i can call it as a byte code you will get a byte code corresponding to that program and if you execute this one the dot class file you will get an output how you will execute you need to have a jvm java virtual machine to execute that class file then you will get the output is it clear now let me discuss the how it achieves the platform independent if you compile the java program on a platform x you will get a dot class file or the byte code this byte code you can execute on the platform x to get the output if you have the jvm you should have the jvm because jvm can only understand the dot class file if you even change the platform x to the platform y then also you will get the output is it clear so that is the way the platform independentness has been achieved in the java okay is it clear instead of object file creation it will create the dot class file and the dot class file you can execute on any platform okay to get the output so this is the advantage of the java is it clear i got the i hope you got the point okay now let me discuss why they have kept the java programming language as the java for you is it clear now the java initially they have kept it as a programming language called oak and then they were thinking to change the name okay they have come with several names like silk okay several names they have tried but finally they kept the java why it is there the when this team james gosling and his team members were developing this oak long ways they have consumed lot of coffees every day they are used to take the coffee so you know that co coffee beans is very famous in java island okay is it clear so as the uh, the coffee beans is very famous in the java island they have kept the name as java they used to think several names like silk other things but finally they kept with the java is it clear so i hope you have understood what are the limitations with the c and then c++ and how these limitations has been overcome in the java so if you want to 
work with any java you need to install the jdk is it clear java development kit okay once you do it you can write the java programs and then it will generate the byte code okay and then it will give the output and one more thing i want to tell you the c and c++ are the compiled based programming language see you know that if you have a high level language like c c++ java python all are the high level language the end user can understand is it clear if you click tick a c programming language it will have hash include stdiver.h int main so all these things are in the form of english we can read it but machine will be long ways will be in the form of zeros and ones it will be very difficult for us to understand it am i right similarly we have the assembly long ways it will be in the form of suppose if i want to perform a is equal to a plus b then i will write it as add a comma b okay so the assembly long ways and machine long ways are the platform dependent and it is very hard to write programs using the assembly long ways and machine long ways long ways so that's why the programmers always prefer to write the programs using the high level long ways now programmer will understand the high level long ways okay but the machine will understand the machine level long ways or the low level long ways so you need a translator to translate the high level long ways to the low level long ways so we have two translators one is the compiler and another one is the interpreter c and c++ are the compiler based programming language whereas python is an interpreted language now java is also an interpreted language now how it is an interpreted language is you will compile the program using the compiler to get the dot class file after the dot class file has been generated jvm will have the interpreter and also it will have the jit compiler you will have the interpreter and also the jit compiler to get the output is it clear so you will compile the program and you will get the dot class file that file you will give to the jvm and to get the output so and one more advantage of the java is once you compile the program if you get the dot class file you can run it on any other platform you no need to compile it again you know to have only the jvm because the dot class file can be understand only by the jvm so that even java their main object is to compile once and run any number of times but whereas the c program if you compile you can run it on a particular platform only so with these things i hope you have understood the the java and what is the motivation behind developing the java if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day